Welcome back to WB Mason presents the Joe Girardi Show. Meredith Morakovitz alongside Joe Girardi. Joe, bad news when Michael Pineda went on the DL. Good news is it looks like he's making quite a lot of progress. Yeah, he is. He's definitely on the mend, and he's going to throw a, a bullpen on Monday, and then we'll continue. To, he'll throw another bullpen, and then we'll go from there. So, so far, so good uh, with his, you know, his rehabbing of of his little forearm muscle, and uh, we like that he's on the mend. Now, Brian Cashman had mentioned, don't expect to see Pineda back until probably September. Is there a chance he could be back before then? Well, we sure hope so. Um, we'll just have to see how everything goes. And really, every day is determined by the day before and how he comes in and feels and the steps that he makes. Is there any chance that you can see a six-man rotation when he does get back? Well, that's obviously easier to do when he gets back um, in the month of September because you have plenty of bullpen guys, and you're, you're not so limited. Now it's, it's, it's a juggling act, and if you go to a six-man rotation, then you have six guys in your bullpen, it becomes very difficult. And, and I know teams talk about it all the time, but the logistics of it, it just, it's hard to do. And um, so, you know, if we get to a six-man rotation, it's really going to have to be in September. It's great in theory, and I would assume it'd be great if you knew every pitcher was going to give you seven innings, but that's just not the case oftentimes no. with the six-man rotation. As far as the immediate rotation, we know Severino is going on Tuesday in Cleveland. Is there any plan to insert a starter uh, next turn through? Well, I don't know if it'll be the next turn through. It, it could be after the next turn um, as we're in the middle of 16 in a row. So. Uh, for right now, we are on schedule, and we will stay on schedule. And there's another guy that is on the DL, and that is Dustin Ackley. What a kind of weird situation. Yeah. You acquire him, gets three at-bats. Before you know it, he's on the DL. Yeah, he's got a couple bulging discs. And, and his, you know, he feels better. I mean, that's a good thing. So the epidural is helping. The rehab is helping. So I'm not exactly sure when we'll get him back. Backs are tricky, and, and you got to go through a lot. you got to swing and see how you respond to it. And, uh, but right now he's on the deal. Now you had a few back issues when you were playing, right? More than a few. So, so do you sympathize with him I a little do. bit, knowing how difficult that is to really get a gauge? I do, because sometimes you go through it and you, and, and you weaken slowly and you don't really realize, you know. And then all of a sudden, when you do get healthy, you're like, God, this is what it feels like to feel good. And, and it's a nice feeling. So we just want him to get healthy. When that move was made, obviously you'd hope that he would help you in some capacity this season. But was it almost a move that it was a, a move for the future as well, a guy that could really play a part? Well, I mean, the one thing they talked about is he's under control for a couple of years, and um, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, with all that being said, you did have room on your roster to bring back a familiar face in Garrett Jones, and he was a guy that was really well-liked. in the Yeah, really well-liked and understood his role and seemed to adapt to his role better and better as time went on. And he's really our backup first baseman. Play him in right field once in a while. Um, pinch hit him once in a while. But he was, you know, he had kind of learned how to, to handle that role. And as you said, he's a... He's a favorite in the clubhouse, so it's good to have him back.